Hey everyone, it's Chibi Pirate here. Today I'm just making a quick video about how to open relic maps in the Essence Editor and even export them, um, you know, to the game so you can play them yourself. So if you open the Essence Editor here, and I'm just going to blur out the left panel here so you don't see what mods I'm working on because we do have a mapping competition ongoing that's supposed to be anonymous. I don't want to reveal anything. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is continue without a mod. And just because I was testing this, um, it's going to bring up a relic map. But normally this would just be, I think, completely blank or it'll open whatever else like the last thing you had to open when you open the essence editor w without a mod. So here we've got a version of um, Road to Tunis. And um, you can see it's here called Desert Village 2P Mark III Scenario. So how do we get here? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Open. And you're going to go to your steam file uh, your steam folder where the your games are installed so steam apps common this is just in my d drive of course so company of heroes 3 you're going to go to anvil you're going to go to archives and then if you want um the maps so you can open everything here i'm not sure what's locked uh behind different things i'm not really worried about that right now but um, these are going to be your three folders, Scenarios, Scenarios MP, Scenarios SP. I'm not sure what the difference is between SP and Scenarios. One of these might just be like the North Africa maps, either one might be like the Italy Scenarios. Uh, but for multiplayer maps, you're going to want to click on Scenarios MP, Open, and it's going to uh, basically give you all the maps that are here. Um, so let's say, um, and there might be some things that like aren't maps, like this community folder. Um, those are community maps, but they're small. Maybe the maps are in here. Let's check this out. Okay, neat. So yeah. So you can look through all of the maps here, find the one you want. But the easiest thing to do is to just right click here, um, extract. And I'm just going to put this on my desktop. Now we're going to open up the scenarios folder. You can also retitle it, move it around, whatever. It's just a normal folder at this point. So we can look up any map here. Let's say um, winter line. Winter line. And we can open the scenario file here. Okay, so now you've got your scenario window here but if you open the click on the render tab here boom you have your scenario so now normally I like to a kind of default view maybe to put this over here make it as skinny as possible and bam we've got winter line in all its glory and this is the current version in game. Um, yeah, as you can see, everything is here. Okay. And um, yeah. So just to compare real quick, open up our mod and we'll go to the version of uh, winter line that the essence editor opens up by default when you can select scenarios. So we're going to go to official map conversions, winter line. So I made this um, around August just to see if there were, I think this was just after an update to see if anything had changed, if the maps were updated. All right. And as you folks can see, this winter line is very different. If we go back to the bottom VP, instead of sandbags here, we've got some British howitzers, these 5.5 inch 
howitzers. So yeah, this is a much earlier version of Winter Lime. At this point, once you've got the scenario files in the, you know, extracted and you can open them in the editor, I'm 99% sure they're treated just like any other mod. So you might have some difficulties with kind of the single player maps, or maybe there are some maps in there that are like half finished. Um, at, at that point, you know, you might have some stability issues when you try and export them. But when you've got them like this, you can really just um, treat them like any other map. If you have questions about um, how to kind of save your map into a new mod and, and export that um, so you can play it in game, uh, you should be able to go to one of my first live streams, Chapter Zero or, Zero or Chapter 0 0.5 from about a year ago. Um, if not, if you still have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you want to join the Co World Builders Discord server, you can ask a lot of questions in there, kind of specific to your own projects. And there's a lot of lot of people that now, after one year of having Co3 in our hands, it's not just me and a couple other people that can answer your questions. We've got a whole host of people that can help you out and give you advice on map making or troubleshooting, etc. So again, um, I'm really excited for Co3, how it's going. Uh, I'm looking forward to AE's uh, tournament, the Resurgence Cup. I'm looking forward to the mapping competition finishing up next month uh, in mid-March. If you want to check out the maps, a few of them are outdated now, but I have like a two-hour video where I go through every single map. If you want to check out those old maps, go check out my previous video. Uh, sorry, if you want to check out the competition maps, check out my previous video. But a couple have had updates already since then, so um, yeah, not super up-to-date for everything, but at this stage, especially, the maps aren't changing too much. I'm really looking forward to what the future holds and all, and all that. And um, I'm looking forward to playing Co3. I'm hoping it's going to be great. Balance patches are always a little dicey. We don't know what cheese is going to come out or what's being put away. Um, but yeah, anyway, take care. Thanks so much. Bye.